I'm Yannick Wieser. I've got a degree in mechanical engineering and I'm a PhD student at the TPRC. My research is focused on induction welding, where I take a look at the relation between material microstructure and the process itself. So right now, I'd like to take you along in this process by looking at the actual heat generation and the fundamentals of it during induction welding. Okay, so let's explain how heat is generated in induction welding. First of all, induction welding is a very clean process, as no additional materials are required to form a bond. Heat is generated directly within the material and that makes it very fit for recycling. So for induction welding we need two main components, one of which is the source and the other is a susceptor. The source emits an electromagnetic field once an alternating current is applied to it. And the susceptor is any material which can conduct electricity, which will react to this alternating electromagnetic field generated by the source. In our case, that's a carbon fiber reinforced laminate. So once this laminate is held in close vicinity to the source and thus in the intense field, loops of electric current will run through it. These currents we call eddy currents. The presence of eddy currents can be illustrated via this simple experiment where we've got a magnet and a piece of aluminum. What we see now is not magnetism, but the actual induction of eddy currents, as the moving magnet creates a changing magnetic field. A similar thing happens during the actual induction welding process, where in the experiment our coil is represented as a magnet and the aluminum was representing the carbon fiber plate. So in the experiment the moving magnet would not result in large heat up in the aluminum, but imagine that now in the actual process the field is changing at a very high frequency of 300,000 times a second. And at the same time the field is way, way stronger. So the induced loops of electrical currents, the eddy currents, those will be met with the inherent resistance of the material heating up the assembly locally. I can show you the actual heat generation through eddy currents with an experimental setup that I built for my research. In this setup we use a thermal camera to monitor and record the heat generation inside the material and display it on a computer. As we can see, the heat is generated very rapidly as the material heats up to over 100 degrees easily in a matter of a second. The challenge is to understand how exactly heat is being generated inside the material and that requires a lot of fundamental research. The complexity is that we've got a network of conductive carbon fibers inside an insulating polymer. That's where our expertise comes in. Because with our research we aim towards application of induction welding on large structures in commercial aircraft. This is what an actual production setup could look like, where via a dedicated tool we apply the right time, pressure and temperature to the material when we run such a coil alongside the weld line. And then in the end we could obtain an assembly just like this. I experience a lot of, of joy in cooperating with my colleagues and the TPRC partners on this project with the aim to eventually adopt this process on large-scale structures in industry.